Good morning guys. Today I'm heading out on an adventure in Darwin Negros. It's a bit of a weird one. I'm heading to Dukomi, which is the Dumaguete coconut mill. You might be wondering why on earth am I going to a coconut mill, which is essentially just a huge factory site. Well, I've been given a little tip off that underneath the pier at the mill where they ship off the oil, there's an amazing underwater world to be explored. So we're going to take a quick bus down to the Dukomi pier and check it out for ourselves. I'm not completely sure if it's legal because this is where the ships come in and out. So we're going to have to find that out and see how this adventure unfolds. I'll be honest, I'm not even sure if we're at the right pier. There's another pier a few hundred meters down called Bakong Pier, and that one seems to have less infrastructure around it. So if this is the wrong one, we'll go check that out later. There's also a possibility that it could be great to snorkel and free dive at both piers. So let's continue on and see what this one serves up for us. You can see the coconut mill behind me here at Dakomi. It's a huge factory set up. I'll show you what it looks like from the sky. This all seems a bit weird. When I look out to the pier, there's just a big old ship there. There is a pier, but it just doesn't look like it's going to be that amazing. That's the beauty of exploring, because I think we're in for something special. We're going to get kitted up, put the fins on, and Pema and I are going to head out there and see what we can find underneath the surface. say is that the Dakomi Wharf is one of the best free diving places I've ever been. You have these huge pylons coming down from the wharf and it feels like you're in Atlantis, an underwater city, discovering different places. It was awesome. It felt like swimming through Atlantis. Um, it was obviously like not the safest in all spots, so if you're going to dive here you should be careful because there's a lot of coral and barnacles you can scrape yourself on. But plenty of the pillars are really far apart so you could like swim through and have all of this like cool eerie backdrop without the danger of knocking into any green life. You've really got to give it to the people in the Philippines. We were about an hour and a half swimming out there 
way away from a bag. We couldn't see it any of the time. I've just withdrawn cash yesterday. Got about $400 of pesos in that bag. Passport, phone, um, Insta360 cameras, a drone, all this stuff. And of course, completely untouched. These guys who are working out here at the mill probably could have done well to take it and sell all that kind of stuff. But here in the Philippines, everything feels quite safe. Um, so yeah, thanks to the Philippines. When we came in, we actually spoke to the security and he said, yeah, yeah, you can go swim in the beach. Um, but just as we were finishing up, uh, two of the wharf operators said, whoa, you can't swim here. So I'm actually not sure whether to tell you if this is a legal or illegal place to free dive um, and swim. It seems kind of strange that it would be legal uh, because there's huge shipping boats coming in and out of the wharf, which in any other country in the world would be you know, a huge hazard and, and not allowed. But we were out there for an hour and a half. Everybody was watching us. The Coast Guard saw us swim out. So not really sure what the rules are here. There's actually a massive ship rolling in now and we were just free diving right there. So on the other side of the wharf, um, basically the wharf is in between this blue ship and this red ship. So maybe that's why they kicked us off because there's a huge ass ship coming in to pick up some coconut oil. Well, we just spoke to the boys here and they think that the uh, Dumaguete Bakong Pier is better. So now maybe we have round two. <laughs> Local advice. So it's about a one and a half kilometer walk between the Dukomi Pier and the Bakong Pier. I'm just going to stop halfway at a place called South Beach Grill. They're advertising wood-fired pizzas, so it's enticing. And then we'll head on to the Bakong Pier and check out the second free dive spot of the day. Mango quesadilla verdict out of five. Oh, big scores here at South Beach. <laughs> this place is famous for its wood fired pizzas, so. I'm gonna have to take a rest before going to our second diving spot to let this settle. It looks beautiful. Okay, we're heading to Bokong here for the second dive today. Hopefully the pillars here are a little bit wider and there aren't any giant boats coming in. <laughs> to the Bakong Pier, also known by some of the locals as the Dumaguete Pier. Uh, there's a couple of security guards roaming around. I don't know what they're prohibiting. Maybe we just can't walk on the pier, but we're gonna launch in just down here and then swim our way out to the end of the pier and check out what it's like underwater. You go, and you go, we should stay with you. Oh boy, 
boy, that has got to be one of the best scuba or freediving places I've ever been to. Super rich down there with marine life. We saw turtles, hundreds of fish circling those pylons. And it gets pretty deep out there, maybe 20 plus meters. You couldn't really see the bottom right at the edge. Um, and about halfway up 10 meters, but beautiful, beautiful freediving. Super cool atmosphere. And that was the second Atlantis of the trip here. All right, second free dive of the day. What did you think, free dive girl? Um, it's probably one of my favorite places to dive I've ever been to. Um, if you're scuba diving, I'm not sure how it goes, but for free diving, I think that was like the best place ever to like have so many different kinds of fish and corals and really awesome photos. Very good photographer. Nice. <laughs> All right, that wraps up today's adventures of free diving here in Darwin. We're just going to head back along the beach now and then catch a jeepney back to our accommodation. Hope you enjoyed this one guys, I'm going to keep biking around the Philippines and see what I get up to.